Hey everybody, welcome back to Mofro's Reef. Today we're gonna go over the tank a little bit, the 205 gallon, and uh, meet the crew. So all of these fish that you see in here have been in here for um, approximately a year and a half now. Maybe a little bit longer. Except for my eel, Scrooge, Snowflake Eel, he's been in here for two months. The first guy we got is uh, this guy right here, this stone cold shrimp eating killer. I named him Thanos. I think it fits him appropriately. Cool fish. He just really pissed me off the last video I made. And then we got Sapphire, my Hippo Tang. Super fat, super healthy. He's jockeying with uh, Phantom over here, trying to be the boss of the tank. I don't think Phantom's ever going to give that up though. He's my purple tang. So these guys are duking it out every once in a while. Nothing uh, nothing violent or nothing. It's more posturing than anything. And then we got Slick. My dear Sargini Sailfin tank. Slick's pretty cool man. He's the ultimate tank mate. The only person he messes with is the is Scrooge the eel. He just doesn't like him. So he, uh, he gives him a whack every once in a while in the face. And then we got uh, Maverick, Potter Brown, he's the swimmer, you know, he's the one that, that'll just hang out and do laps all day long, which is cool. He's always uh, enjoyable to watch. And there's Scrooge, looking for some food. I had to cut down on my feeding a little bit. My nitrates, after I put him in here, my nitrates cre crept up to about 17. Um, so I cut down on the feeding just a little bit with him. I was feeding him too much. Then I changed it to, I'm feeding him every other day. Like you can see my thumb here, like from that knuckle to the tip of my thumb. You know, he's getting a piece, you know, that big every other day. So he's probably a little hungry right now. That's fine though, I mean, he's fat, he's definitely, definitely not hurting for food. I still have four of my six Bartlett Antheus that I bought a long time ago. When I bought them, I thought I got six females and I was going to get to watch one turn male, the most dominant female, because they're hermaphroditic and uh, they change sexes. And uh, five of them changed. So, go figure. I mean, none of them had the little spike on their fins. I made sure, you know, when I, when I got them. And then they all changed. I have, the only one that's named is the one way in the back back here where is he at he just gets pounded on every day the other three males he's the weak male of the bunch he's just all tore up his fins are tore up and stuff it's you know it's it's life man but named him Balboa just because he's always getting the shit kicked out of him um who else do we got here but probably my favorite fish in the tank and I never thought I'd really like a fish like this my uh diamond watchman goby Khufu I mean look at this he just built this uh, pyramid right here in like, you know, two hours. He completely turns over the sand bed. It's really cool. So, you know, I love him. He can do whatever he wants to the sand bed. It's his. It's his, his baby. All right, who else do we got? I know who I got. I just want to find him first. I'm not seeing him. There he is. Gotta have, gotta have the cool fish in the tank, man. Pop a dot, a starry blunny. You just can't go wrong with these guys, man. They got such personalities. They're so cool. Super cool fish. And for the other inhabitants I have in here, I have uh, two brittle starfish. You've seen me put them in with in the last video. I have a sea serpent. Nine. Scarlet red hermit crabs, probably six or seven emerald crabs, four sand conches for these big dudes. I have two fighting conches, they're a little bit smaller than them, and two olive snails. If you've never seen them, uh, they're pretty cool. The foot on them is just massive. and they So the tank's doing pretty good. I'm getting it back on track here. Um, like I said, I got my nitrates down to 10, and I'm gonna wait for them to get down to about five. I've had two fish over here in quarantine 
I'm not going to reveal them yet until they go in here, but they have a couple more weeks at least until my nitrates get down. Cause I'm definitely not going to increase the bio load when my nitrates are already at 10. So I also got this uh, rose bubble tipped anemone. Actually, they told me there was rainbow rose bubble tipped. I've never heard of that. So I don't know if it's true or not, but they are purple and green and yellows and oranges in them. And he split about a week ago. You can almost see where the break is on that side of him right there. And the other one, they, they ended up in the perfect position. You know, I, hopefully they stay right there. Because I want to get two nice uh, mated pair of clownfish. And hopefully they host them and they, they stick right up front there. And Scrooge has been good, man. He hasn't been looking after after any of my fish like like Khufu and Papa Dot man will get right up in his face and he's not once ever ever went after him he's never went after these these shrimp right here either and neither has Thanos I don't get it man he just must like the color red who knows watch Slick give him a hard time yeah Slick doesn't like him here come over and give him a whack Got a little bird's nest here, little red cat Monty here. Um, some of these were named, but I just I don't remember what they were. You know, this one's grown really fast. It's already it's got like pink and white tips on it. Not sure what that one is. Not sure what that one. These are they're still kind of browned out a little bit from uh, my nitrates being high. There's uh, a tort there. Red Millie. This is a pretty cool one. This is an Oregon tort. That thing's like turquoise. I've got my clam. Got my Pinky the Brain chalice back down underneath there. A little Zoa Garden. PC Rainbow. A vivid Rainbow. A blue Stag up there. Red Dragon. And I think that's a, a Stylo, a Green Cap Monty. Some of my old candy canes and a Duncan. Everybody's real healthy. Everybody's doing really good. I'll tell you what, it's just a treat when you get to see your eels swimming around because they rarely do it. I built Scrooge there. He loves it, man. He's in it all the time. He's about uh, 16 inches right now. I'm pretty sure they can get to like three feet in the wild. And then in the tank, I don't know, maybe 20, 24 inches, somewhere right on there. You could probably get another 10 inches maybe. Who knows? I dig him though. He's definitely part of the crew. And see my clam. So you got this trachea here. I got him a few weeks ago. And he's just completely stuck to a skeleton. But I haven't dosed any aminos or anything like that yet until my... Like I said, until my nitrates get down, I'm not dosing anything. Um, Hollywood Stunner. Got a 5 over here. So that's the crew. Love them all, man. Love them and hate them sometimes. Alright, well thanks for hanging out. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.